After fixing the material, we can start to add functionalities to our character. We start with the iBlinker controller. The iBlinker controller requires no parameter. It simply makes the eyes of the character blink from time to time. Another functionality we add is the TTS controller, giving the character the possibility to speak. We have to select a server. You can install a Meri TTS server on your local machine, use the official DevKI repository, or we have the possibility to select our uh, personal server, in this case. With a button, we can play back a random sentence to test the voice. You can see there is the lip sync implemented and we can select also different voices. Hello. How are you? Also French is supported. Bienvenue dans le monde de la synthèse de la parole. We move to another component. We add in a facial expression controller. Essentially we have a, a set of uh, facial expressions already built uh, thanks to the Manuel Bastioni character generator and here by inserting a number we can quickly test well, many facial expressions. You can see an ordinal number as well as uh, a reference name in the string expression name below. Then we move to the armature. We select the main object and we set the controller, the animation controller for this character, for this avatar. And we have a, a, an animation controller called char animation controller under the scripts animation folder. And we select it. It is useless if we don't add another component that we call animation controller is a script where you have to drag some animations in order to configure it. We activated the enable ambient animation at start. For us, an ambient animation is what we already described in the previous tutorial is a motion to give a bit of life to the character. And essentially you go back to the Blender scene and inside the scene you see the list of animations and you drag the animation that we selected for idle, this idle slow breed in the proper folder. And then we need to configure the static pose, the A pose is what we need. Then we have the possibility to expose a list of preset animations. And uh, so you open the animation clips array configurator, you type the number of animations that you want to insert, for example, three, and you drag one by one what we imported, waving, the military salute, and the salsa dancing. For the moment, we skip the locomotion. They will be needed in a while. And now if you play, you have a small button to test the animation playback. So first you see that the character is uh, moving with his idle and if we click the button we select a random animation between the three and we play it back so this was the waving we have the salute and again the salute and the salsa dancing finally we add a component to walk around, the locomotion controller. To work, you need also to configure the, to provide the list of animations in the, in the other controller, which is work, left turn, and right turn. When you play, you can uh, test it by manually input it a new target position and pushing the test button 
to see our character walk into that location. The force zero option can be disabled if you have properly configured your animations and so you are sure that the character is not drifting up or down and we suggest to not modify the Y of the target because this locomotion controller is not working with the elevations. Now we go to the last feature, we go back to the body and we add another component which is head eye gaze controller giving the possibility to the character to watch in space. To configure it we need to open for the armature, go through the skeleton and drag the references to the neck bone and add on the neck and the head we have to drag references to the left and right eye bones that the Yala Blender plugin created for you and they are needed to have the position of the eyes in space and calculate the right angle for the movement of the eyes then we add a small script to test the eye gaze we create uh, an empty object to just to have a target to look at and we name it gaze target we go back to the body we drag the target to the gaze target attribute and now we are ready we start the game and we see that the character is looking at this object You can also at the same time keep on looking at the target and walking around. And that's all for this second tutorial. As you could see, in a very short time we could configure our character created with Blender and have it in Unity interactive.